So I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is the gold pass is expiring soon and we get to buy another one, which means all kinds of awesome magic items and benefits. The bad news is I'm going to be out of town when it happens. That does not help me with my content creation. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy today, right? So welcome back to Gold Pass Clash. It is day 74, and if you're new to this series, then welcome. This is a one-year journey using the Gold Pass to see how far we can make it, which uh, we've already made it pretty dang far in only 74 days. We're coming on uh, four months, or three months, the end of the third month, which is March. It's crazy. The rules are simple for this series. Never let builders rest. Completely focus on this account and use Code Klaus any time we buy the Gold Pass or any special packs or whatever, and we'll be talking in depth about that here shortly. <laughs> So as you can see, I've got three builders available um, that just happened literally just a second ago. So what happens now is um, I have more troops. I went from 220 this morning to 235 troop capacity. It's because I had three army camps finish up. So you know what? Let me uh, cook up some more bowlers. And now we are good to go. I've only got one army camp left, by the way. So let me go ahead and just upgrade that right now because I don't want to forget that that's a big deal so final army camp is going that is amazing and i'm going to put it right there so like i said gold pass is expiring in a couple of days and i'm actually going to be going out of town to my hometown which is only about two hours away for um my wife has a baby shower so we're going to go to that and see friends and family that we haven't seen in a while so i'm going to be gone from this evening to sunday evening which is literally like it puts the expiration of the gold pass in the middle of that, which I think is Saturday morning is whenever we'd buy the, the next one. So I might use my dad's computer or my sister's computer and film something and upload. I might not. So I will update you guys next video on what I have going on. And actually on that note, uh, next video will be quite different because I'm going to do some construction in my office and there'll be no face cam, at least for the first, at least for the first few days of April. So just a heads up for that as well today using go, uh, <laughs> bow, Witch again, but now I've got 15 extra troop capacity, which means that we're going to dominate even better than we've been dominating. And I am all about it. So while I search for base, shout out to Lil Marshy for the 499 super thanks posted in the last video. If you guys want a shout out in the next video, then send me a super thanks. You got the little heart button with the dollar sign in the middle of it down below the like or uh, down next to the like button. If you would like to also hit that like button, help us out with the algorithm. That'd be absolutely amazing. And I found a base. I found a base. It is not a dead base, but it's got loads of loot and, uh, I've got no heroes either, so I don't know exactly how I want to go about this. Actually, I think I know how I want to go about this. I actually have a plan. Um, oh, the heroes are over here. Oh, blast. Dude, why? Okay, okay, Dark Elixir is the main concern always, right? So 10,000 Dark Elixir. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop the golems just like so. Wall Wrecker. And uh, let's go ahead and just, yeah, let's drop a bunch of... Let's just drop everything. Let's go. I don't, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. Let's drop a rage and a heal. There's multi infernos doing terrible things to me. Um, and, oh, this is when I wish I had a warden, right? Here, let's drop another rage and another heal right in there. And that should get us good, uh, with the rage spell and everything. And why isn't the wall wrecker popping? Oh, there was probably a wall or something right there. Wasn't there? Yeah, probably so. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to hold on to the jump spell. This was, I don't know what they were thinking with this base, to be honest with you. Uh, is it a progress base? It doesn't look like it's a progress base. It looks just kind of like randomness, uh, but I'll take it. I, I love, did you see how much loot this base had? I mean, it had over a million, I think, gold and elixir and then 10,000 dark elixir. I mean, that, that is, that is a whale. That is a true blue whale. And I love it. So, okay, uh, let's actually get ready for a nice freeze. I'm going to try to freeze up just about everything. So, right. Oh, the queen. Should I freeze the queen? Is the queen a bigger threat? Yeah, the queen's a bigger threat. I'm going to freeze her. I'm going to poison her. And then uh, we got the jump spell, but I don't think I'm going to be able to actually use it. Also, we got some troops over here getting the elixir out of the collector. That's really all that's over here loot-wise. So, you know what? Um, archers, maybe you guys can just kind of like get the builder huts for the extra percentage but i don't i highly doubt yeah these wishes are not going to be able to get that job done let's just go ahead and jump that because i don't want to leave my uh spell capacity all confused but i got a hundred percent of the loot y'all that was amazing i kind of need to go back and look at that base design and see if i could figure out like what they were trying to accomplish because whatever it was it didn't work I'm pretty sure that's a loot record on this account, guys. 1.3 million elixir in one raid is gnarly. 
and then 10,000... Uh, 700 Dark Elixir, I think is also a record. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's a record. That is beautiful. What a great way to celebrate the ending of March. And once again, the reason why I've got extra troops like the Wall Breakers and the Wizards and even the Rocket Balloon that was in my CC is from these events. I'm now at 5 out of 10 and getting all these events and extra stuff. I'll definitely try to finish these off today because I won't have any time over the weekend. We should probably spend some loot. I just realized that my sword is nearly maxed out and I've got loot in the treasury. It's a decent amount of loot too. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop a ton of loot and max my walls today. Perfect timing for the end of the season, which means what's going to happen at the beginning of next season. Because actually the trend here at Gold Pass Clash has been that I've been upgrading my town hall pretty much every single new season. Uh, just because I got nowhere to go with the extra season bank loot. So are we going to go to Town Hall 11? I mean, that'd be awful. Like the rush, the amount of rushing that would take place at that point. Because I'm nowhere near. I haven't maxed out. Look at this. I haven't maxed out any defenses at Town Hall 10 yet. I don't think I can rightfully go to Town Hall 11. But I'm not sure. What, do you, what are you guys thinking? What are you guys going to do? Because I know a lot of you guys are following along. And you're probably in the same boat that I am. Where I'm about to max out all of my walls. There's one. And there's two. There you go. Walls are done. Now what? And just to prove it to you guys, I'm going to go into edit and remove all. And you can see here now I have 275 level 11 walls, which is all my walls all maxed out at Town Hall 10 within a month. I would say that's pretty good considering I've not had any builders sitting ever. And I've really never even had maxed out storages for people to be stealing all my stuff. So I think I've done pretty well up to this point. And you know what? I'm done waiting on my CC. Let's just get my own. Here we go. 38 medals, no problem. And now let's go smack another base. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do, remember I wanted to look at the uh, the base I just smacked and just kind of try to figure it out. So it looks like a progress base. I mean, everything's like nicely lined up and everything, but it's surrounded by walls. And there's other things over here that maybe like aren't maxed out. Is that why they're out there? I am totally confused by this base, but thank you for the loot, my friend. So while I look for the next base, guys, let's answer today's comment question of the day. It's from Space Pop Tart. I love this question. He says, CQOTD, do I have to shower every day? Yes, you do. No, maybe you don't. It's entirely up to you, my friend. It's entirely up to your lifestyle, and it's entirely up to the people around you. Uh, you're going to have to make that decision on your own. I personally shower pretty much every day now if, if i'm having a day where i'm not super active maybe my wife's out of town or something i might get a little lazy and not shower that day because i'm not around anybody but you know if if she's around she's got a one heck of a nose so be considerate of other people with your hygiene people <laughs> love the question space pop tart thank you so much for the question if you guys have a question that you want answered please post it down below in the comments cqotd comment question of the day I've honestly been waiting for somebody to ask a question like that because I think we've exhausted the majority of Clash of Clans questions and now we have to get into the real life stuff or we'll never actually have any questions to ask or answer. So shout out to Space Pop-Tart for thinking outside the box. You're the man. Another massive well, guys. Um, This one is a Town Hall 11. Uh, so that means that I'm probably going to definitely come from the bottom, but I'm going to first identify where all the Dark Elixir is. Okay, so we got a storage up near the Town Hall that'll work. The bowlers will take care of that um if they if they if they get there we'll see we have dark elixir drills on the left and the right and also on the bottom so i think the obvious answer is we're going to come in from the bottom so uh golems we've got a couple of witches look let's go wall wrecker right there i'm gonna actually gonna drop the wall breakers as well and then witches and bowlers and wizards everything's been deployed okay so now um it's it's a patience game here we got to watch and wait let's extra drop a rage and a heal i've got a problem with my uh eagle artillery i don't normally have to think about the eagle artillery so you know that's a problem um okay okay uh let's go let's poison over the queen and let's actually yeah let's freeze over the eagle and the queen too because i want the wall wrecker if possible to go all the way through into the town hall compartment i don't know if that's actually gonna work uh but, but we will see come on dudes come on come on come on come on come on yes okay rage and heal and jump out the backside absolutely perfect they're gonna get the dark elixir storage let's go baby or or not we're gonna actually get distracted and go in the wrong direction wow okay they totally got distracted with the wrong direction wow um that's that's crazy to me but i mean ooh, ooh, the inferno just ran out of ammunition you guys watched it i've had so many people in the comments of previous videos asking me what a dead base means which blows my mind because that's like such a it's been that that concept of dead base has been around for 
a, a million years now at this point, but I realize that new players come in every single day, right? So you guys witnessed what makes a living base different from a dead base. That Inferno Tower literally ran out of ammunition. Notice how it doesn't look quite as bright. That means it's 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 dead. It's <laughs> it's ammunition clip has run out. It's amazing. Attacking a Town Hall 11 is not the best idea. However, I did get the two star. So if, if I'm trophy pushing, which I am sort of, because I'm using really good armies, um, then I am <laughs> going to be satisfied with the town hall 10 v 11 two star right that's pretty good and i've got a lot of loot so i am satisfied with that so let's now do a couple of the upgrades guys there's nothing really to update on builder base by the way um i'm just working toward uh i mean i did use the gold rune if you guys actually look at my rewards the only only things i have in here right now are two resource potions with uh, which i don't need rune of elixir and rune of gold which i don't need and then some wall rings i've already used the uh, builder rune of gold so i'm good i'm i'm cool with collecting gems on the rest of this whenever the season ends in a day and a half so uh and then builder base i use that gold rune and i'm just upgrading defenses and stuff and trying to get the the um lab upgrades and stuff going so really kind of boring at this point so let's go into the progress base and let's upgrade some stuff the obvious choice was of course the arm camp it's going to be done in two days let's actually upgrade some high priority things right so like the air defenses i would say would be the next top priority i've got like little defenses i did this off camera <laughs> went from level one to level two and then the new cannon from level two to level three that went off camera as well uh, just trying to keep stuff going, obviously. So let's drop um, a bunch of gold on air defense upgrades. So let's just go ahead and get it done. So 2.4 million gold. We'll move it across the map. I think that's maxed out. I don't think air defenses get two upgrades at Town Hall 10. And then let's also upgrade. Um, let me collect the treasury actually really quickly. So there you go. Let's also upgrade either another air defense, which I can't afford. So that makes the, the decision for me. I'm going to unrush. Well, actually... This is the new expo, so it's not technically rushed, but I'm going to upgrade this expo to level two, which is about the same amount of time as the air defense. So 1.28 million gold. Bam. Very good. Okay. So what that means now, guys, is that in a day, just over a day, I will upgrade both my my queen and my king. That'll likely be off camera because I'll be out of town. Um, and I'll update you guys on what's going on. Now, if you decide to buy the gold pass, I want you to First, make sure that you're using a creator code. So if you go into your shop, by the way, there's lots of really cool special offers right now. Like some of them are very tempting, even the, especially the cheap ones. Like anything goes, $3 to get two builder potions. That's huge. Some wall rings and whatever. I mean, any of these are really good value. But if you decide to buy the gold pass or any of these special packs, click the little white C at the top right-hand side of the screen and then put K-L-A-U-S or anybody's code. Just make sure you're supporting somebody. It's a huge blessing to us content creators and to our families. When you guys do that, it doesn't cost you anything extra and it's just it's just a helpful thing and it's it's awesome. So thank you for all of you who do that. And when you do that, it will stick for seven days. So if you do it today, then you'll be good to go for the gold pass when it expires in two days.